fight that everyone has been expecting. Mayweather against Hernandez. You heard the crowd here inside the Cinnamon Theater. Everyone is expecting an excellent fight. And we're about to find out if we're coming here live from Las Vegas and Nevada. Hernandez, Mayweather for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. And out on the blocks comes Hernandez in the first round. Don't hold. And you can see the height advantage for the champion in the blue and the white trunks over the challenger in the red trunks. And there you can see that cat-like quickness that Floyd Mayweather has. Floyd saying that he was going to utilize his speed against Hernandez early. He said that he knows that. He has the advantage in that area. Interesting Mayweather coming in with a WBC pass stop, stop. on his trunks here this evening. Don't grab his head. As but. does Hernandez. You can just see that speed that Hernandez is just staying back. He's telling me earlier in the week that he was hoping that his jab and his height advantage can offset Mayweather's speed, but as you can see, Floyd just sneaks a punch right in there, and Chicanito did not know what hit him. Floyd very calm and cool. He said, people are going to be surprised to see the type of power that I have here. His camp was predicting a knockout. Floyd was not predicting anything. He said, all I'm saying is I'm going to get the win. I don't care how I get it, as long as I get the victory. That is all that matters to me. This title fight tonight is extremely important for me. Indeed it is. And down goes Mayweather. No, it is real to slip. It is real to slip. It is not a knockdown. Mayweather gets up immediately. It was not a knockdown. It was a slip. But Hernandez did get inside on Mayweather. Chicanito has gone the distance in his recent fights. He's a man that anchors himself in and just sits still for a long battle. He is not a guy that gets things done quickly. But he said, you never know. Things could change here tonight. He's coming in quick against Hernandez. I mean, against Mayweather, the best exchange this far in the fight, both fighters. Lots of slip, too. It's a push. One for one, as Chicanito just smiles at that. So if you're scoring at home, that's two slips. Floyd really keeping that head back here this evening. Keeping that right hand cocked there. So when he goes in with that jab, he's still protecting himself at home. And then Hernandez is having some problems here, trying to figure things out. Here's a look at the two slips in this one. There's Floyd going back, slipping. And as you can see, what happens there is Gennaro's left foot stepped on top of Floyd's right. And then as we look here, that's just a push. And down goes Hernandez. And the same thing, just pretty much stepped on Hernandez's feet. So two slips in the first round, a couple of uh, punches landed, nothing major. And we start the second round of this fight for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World, Hernandez against Mayweather. And Floyd coming in once again with that crotch position. In Floyd's corner was his father. As you heard him, he was telling him, did I win the round? And Miguel Diaz, other man in the corner, said, hey, it was even. So you can see that Floyd's trying to count rounds here early. Hernandez has never been knocked out in his career. He's only been knocked twice as the two just exchanged some blows there after hugging for a bit. Knock him in the back of the head. Oh, and they both tackle each other down. Floyd on top of Gennaro. You gotta be careful, that can cause an injury to a fighter. You'd hate to see this one in because of an injury off a slip, because they're both guys tackling each other. Gennaro, really cool. 
And here comes Ford with an overhand right that lands right on the chin. In the left, another left. So the challenger is dictating this fight without a doubt. The champ is just letting the youngster just go ahead and just have at him. When I was talking to Hernandez earlier in the week, he said, the thing is for me is I need to take Floyd past the four and five rounds. After that, speed does not matter. Fighters slow down. And both guys just pushing each other again. And Hernandez getting upset at the fact that Floyd is grabbing him from behind the head and doing the rabbit punches. Two frustrated fighters here early. Only in round number two. Don't grab his head. Stop. Last warning on Costa Point next time to grab his head. And the youngster, you must imagine that everything is going through his head right now. First championship fight in Las Vegas. The lights, the glamour on television. And he's just all those things. Oh, nice right there landed by Hernandez. Oh, excuse me, by Mayweather. Right on Hernandez's chin. Beautiful right. Florida are gaining some confidence. Mayweather just pulling out of the punches. Hernandez not throwing anything back. You can see with that cat-like quickness, Mayweather just sneaking right out of there. First in the canvas. The young gun not injured. He comes out and starts round number three. This battle, of course, scheduled for 12 rounds. Hernandez in the white and blue trunks. Mayweather. Red and white. You can see both guys are just sizing each other up, waiting to commit. Mayweather just tagging. Floyd's got that compact style, he's smaller, but you can just see the way he's utilizing his speed. He's got extremely fast hands, and he's able to double punch two quick uppercuts. I mean, look at him just escape there. And the fight's now inside. Now, this is to Hernandez's Wait. advantage. Stop, stop, when the stop, fight stop. goes inside, Good job, he has proven that he is an excellent inside warrior. Floyd, that is not his style. He likes to stick and move. Floyd, though, still looking sharp. He said he wanted to show the world his power. Well, he's showing him his speed tonight, that's for sure. Nice combination there, landed by Mayweather. Locks on for a second. Keep it up. Box. Now Hernandez lands a quick right and gets out. Mayweather again with that big right, and his speed is just killing Hernandez. The 1996 bronze medalist turning in a golden performance here this evening against the champion. Just running circles around him just about. But Hernandez said, a little left landed there, my fight is the one that goes in the later rounds. And here we are with less than 30 seconds left in round number three. Shot the left landed by, by Mayweather. He's just coming in. And you can see the champion just running away. Just running. Knowing that he's got no match for the kid here. But if he's not hitting him back, well, he's not going to wear him down. As we finish the third round here in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
as we start round number four, I got the first three all in favor of Mayweather, but it's still too early for his corner to be saying new WBC champion. Right now, they're, they're running along the perfect path for victory, but hey, when you got a champion who's a crafty veteran like Hernandez, who comes on strong in the later rounds, you cannot start predicting a championship. But Mayweather, not to take anything away from him, is turning in a great performance here. You see, Hernandez really has not hurt him at all. It's Mayweather who's, who's dictating the pace here. You can see he's just standing right in front of him, very cautious. Don't grab his head. Nothing low. the crowd and everybody cheering for it on here. There he follows up and misses with a strong left. Overhand right and starts it off for Floyd Mayweather and he can answer about five more shots after he starts it. Mayweather's speed is just amazing. And before Hernandez has time to rank through one, he's already been hit by three and four. Eleven years of age is a lot to give up inside the boxing ring. And Floyd has proven that here again this evening. You saw Hernandez in the beginning kind of like forcing the offense on top of Mayweather just for a few seconds here in the first round, but since then, Floyd is the one who's making the champ get on his high horse and just run around that ring. Mayweather fighting his fight here. Just going around in a circle, getting in with that left and with that right. You can still see a lot of the youth inside of Mayweather's style, but there's no doubt about it, he has got the blueprints to be an excellent champion. He's not letting Hernandez hit him tonight, and that is the key to boxing. Hit and not get hit. Another jab that backs Hernandez up against the rope. Less than 10 seconds now left in round number four. And this one has been Floyd Mayweather in a swarm all over Chicanito Hernandez. Hey, if you're going to slow down this quick guy, the way you do it is you got to attack the body. There's no way we're going to slow him down by trying to get him to the head. You have to hit him low. And look at the two guys in the center. And Floyd gets a better end of that exchange, just hugging each other, and just punching away. Give and take. That's what this thing has been this far. It's been Floyd Mayweather given and Hernandez taken. Ooh, nice right there on the left by Hernandez. In fact, the two cleanest shots that he's landed thus far, probably. And Hernandez not doing what his corner told him to attack the body, just going around. And look at Floyd, looking to launch away on the ropes against Hernandez. Mayweather. Just a jolt of electricity inside that ring. Look at him, just sizing up Hernandez. He knows that he's got the guy in trouble. Hernandez has never been down for good. He's been knocked down twice, but he's never been knocked out. He's in a little bit of trouble here as Mayweather is just sizing him up against the ropes. Hernandez not doing much to fight out, throwing a jab here and there. But for everyone he throws, Mayweather makes him pay for it with two or three more. The speed of the youngster is the telling tale of this story. And Hernandez, just throwing jabs to try to get out, but he's not moving to the center of the ring. He's trying to draw in Mayweather, it seems, into his type of fight. But he's paying for it. He's got him into the fifth round. That was his goal. 
connect. Oh, nice right there, connects on Janelle Hernandez's chin. But it does not phase him. So that power that Floyd Mayweather wanted to show off tonight, we have not seen much of yet. He has gotten the champ into a little bit of a flurry here and there, but never in serious trouble. And you can see it's Hernandez who's just trying to egg Mayweather into the ropes now, into his type of fight. Watch, I'll back up a little bit. You see how he brings him in there? Watch, he's bringing him back again, back into the corner. And Mayweather goes in. And now he's putting up his hands, and that's where Hernandez is trying to attack the body. Goes up high, though. His corner told him to attack the body. Now Hernandez getting about Floyd's height in this fight, bringing things down low. Less than 10 seconds left now in round number five. And this thing has just been dominated by that young man. A little bit of a trap that this crafty champion is trying to put away for him. Find a set. As we start round number six. And Mayweather going back to that jam. That's what his corners told him. Hernandez just line up against the ropes, is bringing him in. It's a good plan. The problem with this plan is that he's not wearing down the opponent. Floyd Mayweather is showing the same type of speed that he showed in the first round. There's no doubt about it. In order to cut away that speed, he's got to land punches, and Janelle is just not doing that. Floyd just leaving with that jab. The reach is the same for both fighters, and that jab has been the difference here with that speed. He's getting in quick. Dean Hernandez the punch. And the two fighters just going around in circles on the ring. The corner of Floyd Mayweather tell him, attack the body, attack the body. Well, you know what? Floyd's done a pretty good job here with that jab. He's just sizing up his, his opponent. And he's not using much energy, getting ready for that long haul. The knockout, or the knockdown, is not presenting itself here in this fight. And Mayweather knows that. He knew that going in, that tonight was going to be a long 12-round battle. And this far, well, we've seen five and a half rounds of it. Because we've got a minute left here in the sixth round. Coming here live from Las Vegas, Nevada, this fight for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World, Hernandez against Mayweather. And the champion, a whole lot of problems against the youngster. And there comes Mayweather with his best flurry of the fight as he backs Hernandez into the ropes. Once again, he comes in with that left. Let go, let go. And now Hernandez goes to work. Trying to get the youngster to come inside and fight him. You can see Hernandez in that corner. He's just sizing him up. And so is Mayweather. The thing to be said about these guys is that they do not miss too often. Less than five seconds here in round number six. And Floyd Mayweather not missing a beat here tonight. Well, the best 130 pounders in the world as we start round number seven are Janelle Hernandez and Roberto Garcia. Well, tonight, Floyd Mayweather Jr. has proven that he might be better than both of those guys. And he doesn't even have a title yet, but you know what? He's halfway there as we start the seventh round. And Mayweather just continuing to light things up with that jab. And every throw that he finds success. Don't hold his head. Right now, now Hernandez just trying to move in and figure this youngster out. He still has yet to put together a four or five punch combination tonight. He's landed about two or three, but that's it. Mayweather has stifled him any opportunity of that. Now comes Hernandez with a solid right. And 
Martinez trying to move things inside now. Throws the thing inside and Floyd wanted to exchange a bit. Gennaro's getting him in the corner, in the right corner. And both guys are standing each other and Floyd just hanging. Look at that speed there by the youngster. And now here comes Gennaro Hernandez and right back at him is Floyd Mayweather Jr. Round number seven proving to be the best thus far of the fight. And Floyd Mayweather does not look affected at all by the punches of Janelle Hernandez. That uppercut has just been damaging against Janelle Hernandez. And Mayweather once again with a big uppercut and both guys just going right at each other. Janelle is just smiling at Mayweather. And the kid is just staying firm in front of him. Showing a chin of granite here tonight. Hernandez able to land punches more now. Starting to get through that defense. The boy is Mayweather coming through and he turns. And there's a large welt now underneath the right eye of Hernandez. It's really starting to swell. It's turning black and blue already. Underneath Hernandez's right eye. Work, work, work. Make it low. Meanwhile, the youngster skin weight can put it on the, on the clinic out. It's perfect. Look at these guys. They go away at the end of the round. And it's Hernandez who walks back to the corner, the champ, with a giant welt underneath the right eye. And you know, when I talked to Floyd Mayweather earlier in the week, he was telling me that he grew it up for this fight by running 16 and a half miles a day in all these boots. Well, that preparation has paid off because this hasn't been much of a battle for him thus far. It's been more like an airstrike. He just zooms in and zooms right back out and makes the damage. But now the fight goes inside, and this is where Jamal wants him. Right inside. It's like the youngster's taking it all in a nice left. But look at Floyd Mayweather that just unleashed with the rights and the lefts. And he's got the champion in the ropes. Jay Mooney telling the both fighters, hey, keep the punches up. Here, guy. Warner Wilson wants to go right back to the corners and they're going back right at it. Putting it together the best time of punches you can as he gets Mayweather in the stumble, but look at Floyd just eyeing, just eyeing, waiting for that opening. Goes with that right. And his face, look how perfect it is. There's no damage at all. It's a lot to be said. And if you look at Hernandez's face, where you can see the swelling on both cheeks there. And a 32 year old, not in a world of hurt, but in a world of problems, that's for sure. You see Floyd and Mayweather here just coming back to the same game plan with that jab and that big right that comes in. He likes to bring in that right uppercut. You see that a lot in the smaller fighters, especially when they're fighting a guy who's a lot taller than them because, hey, it's easier for them to throw up, and those are the type of punches when you throw up that uppercut that can score a knockdown. And he's found a lot of success here and allowed him to open things up. And there he goes with that big right overhand. Hernandez just relaxing against the ropes. Because when look at Floyd just toy with him, putting his glove on top of his head. The young challenger showing no respect to the champion here. As we have less than 30 seconds now in round number eight. And if you're scoring at home, well, you might be thinking the same thing I am. 
that during the baseball postseason, we're seeing a shutout. It's not on a diamond, but it's inside the square circle. It's being tossed by that man, Floyd Mayweather Jr. He finished the run. Stop. Fight's over. Fight is over. Jay Nady has stopped the fight after Hernandez's brother has told him that's it. The fight is over. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has captured his first title as a professional. He is the new WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World. And in a time of joy, the young man shows all the emotion in the world. You can only imagine what is going through his mind. You can just feel the enjoyment that he has. You can see that he's just on his knee. In tears. And tonight, well, he's proven that he is a force to be reckoned with in the future. And there is Hernandez. His last fight, he quit here in Las Vegas. Once again, the same case tonight on the of his corner. And there is Mayweather celebrating with his, with his uncle, Jeff Mayweather, who has been by his side, training with him every single day here in Las Vegas after capturing the bronze in the Olympics. And look at him. Just hugging the young nephew. At 21 years of, uh, years of age, already a world champion. Eighth round, Ronaldo Hernandez's corner informed referee Jay Nady they could no longer continue. Referee Jay Nady calls an end to the bout, the official time. At the end of round eight, the winner by knockout victory in this, his 18th professional bout, his 14th KO, he is now the undefeated WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. And if you weigh about 130 pounds right now and you're a boxer and you're 